All right, what's up, guys? It's uh, Jings and Things in the house back at it again with another uh, Never Skip Sunday or whatever. Monday, I forget what day it is. Uh, today was a lower day. That was really fun. <clears throat> it was a back squat day, and so uh, at first, I uh, work up to a heavy single, which uh, today was uh, 225. Uh, that's really freaking uh, embarrassing because I used to be able to do 265 for a single, you know, and it's like, oh, wow, 265, that doesn't seem like a lot, and it's like, well, look, I'm uh, I'm going, I, I go all the way down, you see that, so all, all the way down, uh, it's not just some parallel BS and, you know, because uh, I know there are a lot of lifters in their first year they do 315 and it's like okay that's great you have a wide stance you uh barely go parallel and uh it's a, it's, a, it's an upright deadlift pal all right let me put this on autoplay so i don't have to keep uh, if i forget to uh click that so um <clears throat> nah man it's fucking depressing man okay fine uh work up to a heavy single what's my heavy single 225 jesus fucking christ and, and and it's like I gotta check myself because it's like I, I want to go heavier. I want to be like, eh, fuck it, man. Just do 235. But 225 uh, really felt heavy today. And then after that, uh, as of right now, uh, for squats, I'm doing uh, five sets of 10. Uh, yeah, 10. And then eventually I want to go to uh, sets of eight to 10. Uh, so see, I'm still working up to my heavy single. Eventually, I want to go to five sets of eight to ten, you know, so it'll be a little more heavier, quote unquote, right? <clears throat> but for right now, it's just for sets of ten. And again, uh, that shit's fucking depressing, too, because uh, my uh, heaviest working weight I've ever done, uh, five sets of ten, was for uh, 195 or 200 pounds. And I'm doing it for 175 and it's fucking difficult. Yeah, it sucks. Fucking, it's just so underwhelming and all this gay shit, you know. And uh, I don't get insulted a lot on the internet, really. Uh, but when I do, that's their main thing where they're like, oh, well, you're lifting light. And it's like, yeah, I know. I'm not even, I'm not even as strong as I know how strong I can be. You know, and it's just like, it. all right, there's the heavy single, 225. And this literally should feel like nothing. You know, I should have, you know, there we go. There, bam, yay, good job, fucker. You should have done it for a set of five, honestly, though. <clears throat> but it's like, yeah, I know, dude. I'm not even the, the strongest that I know that I can be as of right now, you know? Uh, so... Some people tell me I'm weak. I'm like, yeah, I know I'm weak, man. And it's just setback after setback, you know. It's like, okay, yeah, I have my lower back pumps and stuff. And then, uh, like, two or three weeks ago, uh, my upper back started feeling all silly and stuff. And it made me not able to uh, squat and hinge anymore. And it just fucking sucked. It fucking sucked. Like, I, 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 at first, I didn't want to... Uh, give it that much respect. I was just like, look, it's just, uh, you know, my upper back just feels a little tight. It's fine. Just uh, keep doing your lifts and stuff. And then eventually it was like, nope, no, nope, now you're fucked up. And I wasn't fucked up for that long. I think I was fucked up for like two weeks or something. But yet again, I'm trying to work back up uh, to my working weight. And uh, yeah, man, it's just. <laughs> it's just uh if if i were to tell someone that lifting weight was a lot was about uh you know being at forcing yourself to be at 70 to 80 percent of what you truly can be and then anytime you try to go 85 percent of what you can be you hurt yourself and then you have to shoot yourself back to like uh 40 to 50 percent or whatever until you feel uh, healed and shit, uh, people would be like, 
well that shit sounds gay i mean because i thought lifting weights was just like oh make it more strong make it more muscle it's just you know you you go in there and you david goggins the fuck out of it and then you just get stronger and faster and more muscle and it's like and it's like fuck man i haven't felt like i've been making any fucking progress uh in, in a long while and it's because i you know the little the little slight kink here a little slight kink there and stuff having to slow down and shit you know it sucks you know and it's just about being an adult and stuff and i know eventually um all this stuff uh, will equal out and then i can um uh, you know and then, and then this time that I'm feeling right now is just going to feel like a shitty memory and stuff. And then uh, weeks or months later, I'll be at higher uh, working sets, working weights and stuff. And, and, you know, this will all feel like a really shitty dream and stuff, you know. But uh, so I like this squat, you know. So as of right now, my toes are pointed out, you know, like 10 or 15 degrees. And it could be. And I don't know if I can make them point uh, less. You know, I think if I make them point less, that's when my lower back is really going to start uh, messing up and shit. You know, so I got to kind of keep it that way. Um, unless I kind of want to throw my program out of the window and uh, just start doing like six sets of like... Uh, 15 nothing till failure and and really just focus on uh pointing my toes forward and maybe uh making my stance a little closer um but i think right now i mean yeah this is like a really good looking squat and i can keep uh this squat at heavier weights and shit so um you know i think anything else is just like uh, the naked eyes is going to be able to see it and like anything more it's like yeah it will benefit uh, you know, quad development and stuff like, cause the more, uh, forward my toes are pointed, the more, uh, the quads get activated, but I, I'm not sure yet, you know? Um, and, uh, but I think that's kind of like a childish thinking that, uh, oh, I'm just not making any progress, 0% progress, you know, because it's like, even, even if I'm working with 67% weights, even, even if my working weight on back squats, uh, my highest working weight on back squats was 200 pounds for five sets of 10, and I'm only doing 170 for five right now. I'm still doing the sets. I'm still doing the reps. It's still like fucking volume. It's like this. I can't just be sitting here like doing absolutely nothing. Like this is doing absolutely nothing for me. Like my body is is literally receiving this uh, stimulus, and, and it's just like nope, nope, that doesn't count. Nope, you know, uh, you know, but. So, so, so it's really just the ego talking like, you know, oh, well, I'm not doing 205 for five sets of 10 and blah, 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 you know? So it's like volume is being had, volume is being done, you know, and I'm, and I'm happy for it, you know, that uh, I'm still uh, going out of my way uh, to go lift weights and stuff, even though I know uh, I'm not at 100% and stuff, you know, and it's just like, I feel like uh, that's, that's, uh, you know, I mean, when when, it, when does someone ever feel like 100% in their lives? When when it, when are people just like, oh yeah, life's perfect right now. Yep, I'm I'm great. Maybe like once every other week or something, someone might feel like that. So it's like, fuck it. You know, this is just what uh, lifting weights is about. You know, and so uh, and uh, yeah, so these are pretty much the sets, and. Uh, yeah, you know, it's pretty boring. Oh yeah, and then I so then I do a set of twenty uh after. Uh I I, I, I could uh before my upper back started fucking up, I could do hundred and thirty five for a set of twenty and that made me feel really cool, you know, because hundred and thirty five that's a really round number regarding lifting and stuff. Uh but um since i messed up my upper back i, I had to go back down and wait and how i approach these a set of 20 is i just do like two to three sets of 20 after my uh working sets and anytime i introduce something i start really low so like initially i was doing this for uh, 75 pounds 
and then I do the 75 pound set of 20 or 25 and then I add five pounds and then after those two sets I'm done and then my next time my next time that I squat you know it's like okay fine I did 80 85 pounds okay stay at 85 or do 90 I don't know do 90 so you know do the 90 I set of 20 if it felt easy then add five pounds and then only do two or three sets and then stop and then really try to um you know just get used uh to doing set to 20 you know feel it out have fun with it make it feel like i'm just uh shooting the basketball ball you know uh, i don't know man i i only felt like uh, describing that and s stating all that because anytime i hear a set of 20 it's like someone's doing like their eight or 10 rm for a set of 20 and it's like oh you literally that was your eight rm and you did it for 20 well newsflash i don't think that was your eight rm then you stupid motherfucker if you could do your eight rm for 20 then that wasn't your eight rm fuck boy stupid motherfucker you know and then so like a true quote-unquote set of 20 there there really isn't you know because i could just you know a set of 20 is, is just like when when do you feel like quitting you bitch pretty much you know and so uh I know, as of right now, I can do 135 for a sweat set of 20, uh, pretty difficult. And then, so my next step is 140. But as far as right now, I want to, you know, just stay uh, used to this shit, you know. And then, so here's my stiff leg deadlifts, you know, the stiff leg deadlifts. Um, I really want to do uh, 225 for four sets of eight. Uh, that that was I think my old my highest working weight was a 235 for four sets of eight. Yeah, I think that's what it was before. Uh, but either way, I I, I kind of like this. You know, I mean it's not 225, but you know, it feels good. It doesn't feel stupid, and um, you know, at least my body now like feels like safe uh doing this uh hinging movement because i think before i was like scared i was like am i, am I sure that i can uh, have my back at this angle and now it's like it feels like normal and shit uh so i did this for like four sets of eight to ten so yeah kind of a weak little bitch because i'm not doing 225 for sets of ten but whatever you know and then here's my snatch grip deadlift. Do I do it for a double? I think so. Go ahead. One. Okay, one more. So I did that seven before. So, you know, whatever. Oh yeah, and then and then here's my footballer. Here's my high school football clean. Oh look guys, look I'm cleaning. Oh wow, look at that clean guys fucking faggots swear to god and then here's my stiff snatch grip stiff uh no snatch grip uh rdls there you go good job buckaroo look at you you little star all right oh yeah and then here's here's my isolations i don't film my isolations often so Usually on a, what do you call it, any given day <clears throat> in the mornings, um, I'll do like push-ups, sit-ups, and prone back holds, and then like I'll stretch my ankles in the mornings, and then at lunchtime, uh, I'll do like uh, pull-ups, uh, knee-ups, rear delt flies, uh, chest flies, uh, uh, seated knee, seated weighted knee ups, uh, tricep overhead tricep extensions, uh, wrist curls, and so so that seems like a lot, right? But it's not. It, it's all in a giant set. So this shit only takes like an hour. Like I just listed like fucking fifteen exercises, but it doesn't take that long, uh, you know. And I think I've only been doing this giant set bullshit for like uh, four months or something. And so I guess in like another year, uh, you know, I just keep uh, giant setting uh, all these movements. Eventually, like I'll look like uh, I'll have muscle and shit, you know, because I've only been doing these movements for, you know, so long, 
you know. And so, uh, but before I was interested in uh, putting an extra volume like yeah, in the mornings or at lunchtime and stuff. But uh, I think initially I was only doing like pull-ups and knee-ups, you know. And uh, but now uh, I've been content with just doing like four or five sets of pull-ups every day. And then, um, you know, once I get those sets done, then I got to do the, you know, the, the, the knee-ups, the face pulls, tricep push-downs, uh, rear delt flies, lateral raises, uh, chest flies. And then that's one giant set. And the next giant set is uh, prone back holds, push-ups, sit-ups, and then um, ankle stretches. And that's one giant set. And the next giant set is, uh, what is it, upright rows, uh, knee, knee uh, wrist curls, and then wrist twisties uh, with a band, and uh, uh, seated weighted uh, knee ups, and then uh, uh, overhead tricep extensions, and then concentrated curls, and then that's one giant set. And uh, yeah, like those giant sets aren't shit. They're nothing compared to like a set of squats and shit, you know. So, so here's one giant. S so like, ah, uh, you know, I was tired and I didn't. So. So so this so so this giant set is just uh, rear delt flies, chest flies, uh, tricep extensions, and bicep curls, you know. So here's here's me doing rear delt flies. See, damn, look look at that champion. See, I like doing it with the band too. I like doing it with the band because it's like I I just feel like there's more weight. I feel like there's more attention uh, in the range of motion shit doing like that. Because, uh, yeah. Um, and so, yeah, this is why, I mean, I don't know. I'm just not that interested. Or, I don't, I don't, I'm just not that interested when I look at this shit. But, I mean, it's pretty dope. And I like the rear delt flies. I feel like, you know, they're okay. And then the chest flies. So, I'll see the chest flies instead of just... Uh, having like that I, I'm all the way from like downtown and stuff and then I do them and I just I just like the stretch that I feel there you know I'm doing these very relatively light and stuff so it's not like I'm killing myself or whatever you know so I just like that little stretch that I get there so it's the chest flies and then here's the overhead tricep extensions 40 pounds whoa well this is french press uh yeah, 40 pounds. I'm pretty strong. I'm like a big, strong uh, girl, you know. And then here's my curls. Yeah, little hammer curls with a uh, band. And then, um, so here's some leg raises. I really like these leg raises, you know. I think before I was only able to do three. And now I can do, like, I can do ten, like, if I'm, like, fully rested and shit. Um, but yeah, these, uh, make me feel like a champion, you know, maybe in a, you know, future or something. If I lose 30 pounds, I can be like a gymnast or some shit, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I do calisthenics. Yeah. I'm a calisthenics Barbie. See, look at me, dude. I'm doing calisthenics. Yeah. And then, uh, wait, what's, what's this one? Yep. And then the face pulls, you got to do the face pulls for rotary cup health and like, you know, additional volume for the rear delts. And, uh, I don't know. It just makes my upper back feel pumped up and shit, you know? And then the tricep push downs. There you go. So I can have big arms, right? You know? And then, uh, oh yeah, here's the pull-ups. You ready? And hey, look, man, this is after squats, deadlifts and all this other shit. You know, I'm fucking tired. All right. So what? I'm not able to do a billion pull-ups. At least I did a little bit of them. You know. There you go. Good job. Damn. Okay. And then I and then I like and then what I like about uh, doing pull-ups in the garage is I can hang off of this and then I can do them assisted and then you know and then I feel like I'm getting even more volume in, right? You know. So um, yeah. And then that's all the isolations. So uh, yeah. I don't know. Uh, that's pretty much. Uh, a really shitty lower day as far as I'm concerned because uh, uh, let's see I skipped the lunges I could have done more back off sets overall I just felt really exhausted and uh, I didn't do push-ups sit-ups um, prone back holds uh, leg ra uh, leg raises uh, I didn't do a lot of shit so uh, yeah yeah all right that's it thanks